The state of Florida is known as the Sunshine State, but as we all know, that isn't always the case. Thanks to a state-of-the-art indoor practice facility, the Gators can now prepare for games in all kinds of weather with a 100% chance of practice. In 2014, about 30 football practices were impacted by inclement weather. Priority number one for first-year head coach Jim McElwain and the University Athletic Association upon Coach Mac's arrival, an indoor practice facility. Well, you didn't tell me it rains every day here. You know, I'm in Florida and, uh, you know, it's just different, the weather patterns. But uh, I think that indoor and the commitment that the administration's made and Coach Mac's ability to work with them to get that done, it's outstanding. That's going to be such an advantage for us. Taking some of that heat off is a big impact. Um, you know, some days when it's just crazy hot outside, going inside and being able to get that work. And sometimes, you know, the heat can get to you. You can get that monkey on your back. And, you know, you can't put it in fourth gear, third gear like you want to. And you can just take a step in there and continue to get better. And the biggest thing to me, for me is not missing practice. The $17 million project includes a full 120-yard synthetic turf field with extra space on the north end for practice drills. There are three camera platforms, a video workroom, and space for equipment storage. The facility is air-conditioned and features multiple roll-up doors on the west side to facilitate easy access between the indoor facility and the two adjacent outdoor fields. I think we looked at what we could do out there and knew that we needed it from a safety standpoint, from a practice standpoint, and I think finally be able to do it um, and deliver this to Coach Mack and the players is something that was really a goal accomplished for us. And I think that just goes to show, you know, when a bunch of people work together, we work together with the university and the athletic department, um, it was a tight site, it was a tight schedule, and um, I think it was a tribute to all the different entities and, and user groups that worked together to get it done. The indoor practice facility officially opened its doors in August to the excitement of everyone in the program. I'll tell you, man, like when we walked in that indoor facility, like I looked around and all the guys in there were like, it was like Christmas Day, man. Crazy, man. What? When we first walked in, it was just, it was amazing. I just, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. And I've been in a couple of indoors, but it's just, just for that to be ours, it's, it's just, it's a different feeling. Gators get better today. Here we hey, go hey, now. Hey, 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 work on three, work on three. One, two, three. Work. Get down, get down, get down. Yeah, the, the facility is awesome. It's state of the art, really everything you can ask for in a practice facility. It's it's really allows you, especially in this Florida weather, to uh, stay on your schedule and and then not only like the rain, thunderstorms that come, but when the heats, you know, when they want to keep us out of the sun, we have I would say the nicest indoor you could you could get, and it's right there for for us whenever we need. And it's you really can't ask for anything else as a player. The University Athletic Association is committed to providing a championship experience for their student athletes. The new indoor practice facility now allows Gator football players the opportunity to get better every day, rain or shine. For Inside Gator Football, I'm Brady Ackerman.